smoking is a word in court. In court, the, the government uses it as a language of models. It's like when you go to, when you hear somebody in court, the judge goes, can you rephrase that? So he has to change the model to another word or else it ain't, it ain't that good, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you, sentence or not sentence, what's the word that he says on um, the judge? He has to change the word, he needs to change the phrase, he needs to change the model. So every writer had a model, had like today's hip hop, 50 cents, that's a tag name. Uh, whatever, whatever name you hear that not originally their name is a tag name through graffiti itself. Because nobody knows me by Jose. My writers, you know, my friends, everybody calls each other, hey, what's up, kid? Or what's up, Tracy? Or what's up, ghetto? What's up, this? You know, and that's the way it goes. You know? and, and, uh, like my name tag ghetto is not based on today's ghetto. The name merge from the 1970s. Children knew that something was wrong in New York City in 1970. So we knew something was wrong. I was like 12 years old, uh, and needed to be involved and acknowledged, not for negative behaviors, but for their top new talents. That is called writing and to express a tag name with different calligraphy mm -hmm. styles. Drugs, gangs was not my thing. It was more, oh, I'll, I'll rephrase that. Yeah, yeah, I've been in a little clique, but it was so, it didn't make no sense to me. Because it was like every night I had to go on the bottom of the train. Or I had to tag something. I had to do it. it was, I was addicted to it. You know, that's why I didn't even have a girlfriend when I was young. Because she was, where you going? I'll be right back. And I, I'll be walking with my, my bag with cans, clink, 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 with cans and spray, clink, 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 markers all over the place. But I had to do something. I needed to be acknowledged. You know, I wanted to be acknowledged. And uh, anything else you want to ask me? Go ahead. What's your basic you message recording? in your whole oh. graffiti? What's my message? Your on, basic message. On the, the whole graffiti? thing here? Yeah, the whole thing. Okay, my message in Yonkers document. itself, Yonkers itself, um, they had a couple of writers, you know, I could mention their names, you know. One of them is Paz, P-O-S-E. One of them is Nev, uh, that I have noticed around here. N-E-V-S, uh, Joker, you know, there's a lot of Yonkers writers, you know, that when they do beautiful pieces, it don't last long, they just erase it, you know what I'm saying? So Yonkers is looking at, not per se Yonkers itself, but these men have these talents that could just beautify certain areas of Yonkers that I say, when I see an abandoned building, when I see an abandoned building, it's not the culture. that They, they don't need to blame the culture for that abandoned building and the way we behave. So my name is Ghetto. So when I see Ghetto and I see something like that, like that abandoned building, that's Ghetto. If I was still writing, believe me, I would have wrote on those bad boys just as good. So my view is always to try to make somebody do something and not know who this person is. Today they're seeing me, you know? But my thing was always hiding and you had to figure it out. I did something recently about a bus stop and I put it up and I did it and I tagged it, tagged it, tagged it until they changed the schedule. So it's, it's an expression of art, an expression of, of behavior towards the political way, you know, towards the political way, you know? Did I ask you a question? Yeah, I did? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still, see, but the calligraphy difference here is yeah, like, you see the way I write ghetto here? Right. Exactly. I had to look up the word ghetto when I was 11 and 12 years old. I wanted to know the definition of me writing a name. Every writer always has a definition to it. So I learned how to do it this way, I learned how to do it that way, the way it connects with the O here with the T. Big difference. And over here, this is new now because I wrote it with a number two. Because I think the, the world is changing, so now everything's going to be by numbers. Everything is by numbers now. You know? If it ain't a. And this is, you know, different styles. You know, this, this I did in 9 11. Day of 9 11. So, any more questions? Any more questions? Come on. You see me, you said, huh?
You see me? Yeah, I see you in the white hole. All right. Okay. Good. good, good, good. I, I didn't write around there. You never saw me write. Oh no, no, no. Even if I did, I still didn't see you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this art here, also, I call it people and angels. Why? Because if you look at it, if you look at it, you put your own imagination in. Come here, Bobby. Yeah. Look at the way it looks. It's your imagination. Every art is your imagination. And you can make your own imagination. It's a person here. It could be a cyclop person or a person that has a, a third sense of everything. If you ever look at any artist of graffiti writing, when they put a character, it always has all of us do the same old thing. Don't ask, don't ask me, I don't know, but I noticed that. There's always a third eye. I could sit there, angry, pissed and everything, whatever, and draw, and I'll still have something else on my mind. I'm seeing the future, I'm seeing something, and I'm just enjoying it. What's up? Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Where did you get all your inspiration from? My inspiration is just, uh, it's just normal. It's just something that I always love to do. If I look at a tree or a bird or something like that, I'll go for that. Okay. I go for something that's never been created. So, so any any artists that you've seen inspired you or? Um, artists, yeah. Um, the one that inspired me more was um, um, this guy named Stay High. You know, and Stay High is. I remember him. Way. Yeah, yeah, right. But the way that it, it, really my father, my father had beautiful calligraphy. Man. This guy will write. And I was like, wow, man. I would mimicated his, his handwriting. So when I saw that person stay high 149 writing, I, I, I never met him. That would be another story. But when I saw that style, I said, whoa. And somebody already told me, would you like to do this? You remember what the binder? You got a good handwriting. Can you do this? Would you like to do that? I was like, whoa, what's that? And that was it. It was like different G's. This is why I do a G when I just. Different G's, a different calligraphy G. You, know? you can look, you can spin it any way you want, and it's still gonna look like a G. So what inspires me is more inventing a different letter for each, 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 each letter. Uh, this guy here is Kilroy. Any questions? Any more questions? So how long? Basically, let's say I, just, I know you do walls as well. Yes. That's um, in proportion to one of your little prints, how long would that take you? On would a you? wall? No, no. How long would it take you this size and then on the wall? Okay. This size here took me uh, right there. I probably, I, first was the outline. So after the outline, I already knew what I was going to do. So okay. I, I took me maybe a half an hour to do that. If this I do it on the entire wall, thing? Yeah. Each, each, I did all of them, all of them in, in you say three months period? And there's 27 plus the others that I got at home. There's another 20 and change that I didn't bring here. So okay. I did that all in three months. And how, I wasn't long, how long thinking, does the wall take? If I do, a, if I look at a wall from at least 10 feet, 10 feet, let's say, right? Right, yeah. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. <laughs> it takes me like two hours. Two hours? Two hours. In, 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 in a, in, a, in a good setting of not being worried that the cops are coming or whatever. If, if it's an illegal war. Do I say illegal war? Illegal. illegal. <laughs> Even though we're doing it's a legal war, it's still for us, it's still illegal war. Illegal war. But um, I, I will do it in, like I said, in two hours because it's like I already got the expression and, and, and how to put these things in it. What will I put in first? Do I do this or do I that? See, when I did this, I did this first. Okay. This is different to do another one. Well, and then, um, any more questions? These are stories here. Kilroy is one of the first graphs that um, JJ Kilroy, that I admire a lot because in those days, even today, it's like Kevin was here. He might go to the bathroom one day and he's like, oh, I don't know this. Look at all these people walking in the bathroom. So you would like to take a pen out, right? You just, you know, I was here I, too. I was here too. <laughs> so he did that because it was World War II era, or 1935 also, World War I, that he was a shipyard um, inspector. 
So he used to expect these big ships before they go to the sea, and he used to write. Everything is written in there. This is the whole story here. And this is... Um, so everybody kind of followed behind him. Right, because a lot of soldiers also, like every time they, they saw that name, they, they, they knew they were far away from home. So they said, well, you know, I was here. You know, or, or I was here and, I'm, and, I, and I'm now, now I'm gone. That was the other one. Kira was here, now I'm gone. I could write, Ghetto was here, now I'm gone. You know? See? Alright. So, more on the other side? Yeah. That's like the whole story of it. Nah, let me have to do this. Hold on. She's gonna stop it and start it. Hold huh. on. The art? Mm -hmm. Photos. No. Yeah, that's what I need you to take pictures. Right? Um, my question was, is there like, from your earlier works, what was it like the progression? You know, what I mean, the style. Was there a change in the style? Oh yeah, yeah. Like the one I just showed in the table. You know, I could I could write it just specifically the way I used to write it when I was a child. That was the yellow one. I used to do it like that, like, as the yellow one. But you, the, the money is the money goes to the old style. Get it? I can't do the modern thing now because it's history. It's already history. You know, and it says it right here. You know, this is the history of writing graffiti. Everybody else just follows through. They don't have nothing else to do. But my designs, I could change each letter. Each letter, like I said before, you got to top. The question is, you got to top the other letter. So if you wrote Kevin in a nice way, next to mine, I was like, wait a minute, no, I gotta top that. And I will ask you permission also, if I need you, can I borrow your team because I ain't gonna steal your team. Or your X or your F or whatever K letters, you know? This uh, actually says ghetto, right? This says ghetto. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, th this one here was like almost a mistake. It was just a mistake and then, and then I said, well, I you know what we'll do? I'm gonna fill it out. I'm gonna fill it around it. No, because I did the, the name only, and when I did the name only, I had all this empty. And I was like, what am I going to do? And then I said, oh, you know what, let me do a research. So I did the research from the Holocaust of, of, of World War II, and basically in the 1500s, that's when the Jews for the first time were segregated into ghettos in Italy itself. And they called it ghettos or ghettoization. So there's three types of ghettos. You got the closed ghettos, the open ghettos, and the destructive ghettos, destruction of ghettos, you know? And that's basically all what has happened now to the 1970s. And I don't blame what's happening now by this. But this era here, 1970s, was more basically about money. Cross Bronx Expressway, I know you guys heard of it. Yeah. So that expressway used to be Corvettes. But I remember when I was a kid, I was like 10 years old, we used to walk through this, 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 um, it was really grass. And then one day I started seeing this big construction that was going on. But the construction was, there were buildings. And those buildings were just being demolished. So all that money that they were doing in the expressway that New York City did, what happened was these abandoned buildings in the back were, were getting, were not, demolished. They were not getting demolished. It was the landlords that it says it here, it's all highlighted. The landlords so, um, couldn't bring people in because they had to fix it. And things were getting bad. So they came up and they started burning it up just to get insurance money. Huh? Fire my, insurance. My, my Haven. Huh? My, yeah, my Haven, the Bronx. Right, all yeah. those areas. All those, and it hit all New York City, Brooklyn, Queens, everybody, you know. But the Bronx is the one that really got hit more because of the Bronxway Expressway. Oh, How long have you been drawing? Since eleven. Since eleven. Okay. You um. How long? How long does it exhibit here? Until so the thirty first of August. Thirty first of August. Okay. Um. Do you want to give us your website so we can put it on the bottom of the screen? Well, I, my website is over there. But just say it for us so we can put it on the bottom. Can you get it? Yeah. And that's my telephone number too. The website, this is the one is in pink, right? Pink dot? Yes. Okay. okay. That's the website. 
Legend. There's a lot of Legends of Graph. New York, NYC. G-R-A-F. Yeah. Right. Right. And there's a lot of old writers that sell their art and they go up for thousands. You know, this, this oh, stuff here. Right <laughs> That's good. Okay. Yeah, so I want to yeah, thank you man, for your time. All right. Mm -hmm, thank you, Jose. Mm -hmm. Thank you.